I had this Toshiba VHS player for listed for about 200 pounds on eBay. The story is, I remember when I was like, I remember a couple months ago, I was browsing on Facebook Marketplace and I found an ad for this particular machine and some lady in my local area was gonna sell it and actually she was actually throwing it out she wanted to throw it in the bin and she put it on facebook marketplace and said listen anyone take this from me and um otherwise i'm gonna throw it out so me being me i was like you know what it's free don't know what the value of it was at the time she didn't even mention what model it was i just went there and i and i proceeded to um, pick it up when they picked it up boom very nice loving family everything like that invited me into a house picked it up went back home searched up the value of it and I my jaw dropped to the floor literally no I don't even mean it to rhyme but it literally dropped to the floor I could not believe my eyes it was selling for 200 pounds 250 270 150 130 and um, I was like bro I picked this up for free for free literally the best investment I made of my time literally picked it up didn't know what it was worth it worked fully working tested it everything it works completely fine and I was I was gobsmacked at the opportunity that I had yeah things kind of went a little bit pear-shaped from there um, once I put it up on eBay I listed it for 200 pounds I got an offer within four hours of my listing for 150 pounds and I declined it and then two weeks later I got another offer for 120 pounds I declined it let me tell you let me tell you the value of taking your opportunity right if someone offers you hundred and fifty pounds for something you've picked up for free Please learn from my stupid mistake and take it. I declined the offer twice. I got two offers over 100 pounds. One for 150, one for 120, and I declined it. And I thought I could get more. I thought I could get more as if I invested 150 pounds into it that I could demand more. No, this is the thing. When someone offers you something and it's and it makes sense and it's worth and it's worth the investment that you put in it, then don't hold your ego take that take the offer someone's offering you a lot more money than what you paid for it take the offer and that's what I should have done first hand I did manage to sell this over 100, 100 pounds I sold it for 110 pounds eventually but I gotta pay shipping on it and that's probably gonna minus 20 pounds out of the equation so I'm left with 90 pounds still I find the hardest part to any kind of packing situation is finding the end of the tape when you haven't used it for a long time so yeah i'm trying to find that out right now 90 pound profit for something i got for free is still extremely good just last like a couple weeks ago i sold an amplifier for 160 and i bought it for 55 so i made about 100 pounds there but um the point is if someone's offering you a good amount of money don't be greedy and try and haggle them to get 10 pound 20 pound more just take the damn offer i should have learned that and yeah i kind of paid it with the price but no i paid for it not only did i get a lower offer um but also had it for much longer when i could have just moved it quickly um and that was my mistake so learn from your mistakes and business is all about learning from mistakes you know always gonna you're always gonna come across t uh times where you feel like you're right um and you turn out to be wrong and you and it's all about understanding how can you take those mistakes and put them into the next project so i'm gonna package this right now and i'm gonna show you the process of how i package it and i'm gonna ship it off so I've basically packed it now. This is what it should look like when you pack a massive item like this. I'm probably going to do some extra packing on the corners because, you know, you can't trust mail delivery places. Like, they'll probably just throw the package around. Even if it says fragile, you just can't be certain. So I'm going to do some extra protection here. And I'll update you when, I'm, when I start shipping it. So I'll place the, the VHS player in the box. And um, you can see it's quite big on the sides. Um, so what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut around the sides and make the box kind of 
um, fit like the make the box the same size as the VHS player I'm not gonna give a tutorial on how to do it I do not have a tripod I'm lying I do have a tripod but it's all the way hidden somewhere in my room and I cannot be bothered to find it so um, there's so many other tutorials online if you literally just go just google it or YouTube search bar it uh, a tutorial should come up on how you can resize a box to fit a certain object I'm not going to give you that tutorial right now. I'll show you the finished product once it's all packaged and done. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch you in a bit. Okay, so after half an hour of wrapping, I don't know if you remember this tape was full, like it was quite thick up to here, but that's the that's the end product. I made sure like, you know, obviously when you resize when you resize um a box like especially if you're not like measuring it out properly there's gonna be some odd things sticking out so like for example like over here like over here it was all like sticking out and you could see the product inside so I had to like do extra layers to keep that sealed so that's one thing to take into consideration when you're resizing boxes make sure you do your measurements people because it will save you a whole lot of tape whole lot of time and a whole lot of money as well because little things like these add up in the long run luckily for me I'm not a full-time eBay seller I sell occasionally um, and this was a really good deal I picked it up for free sold it for hundred pounds uh, my and shipping is also included in the hundred pounds so a little bit of an 80 pound profit margin roughly so not bad for a couple of hours work maybe even just one hour work made 80 pounds not bad at all so uh yeah i'm gonna put the address on it and ship it out tomorrow